Hello, I'm Karen Randall, Curriculum Team Leader for Music and Music Technology. I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Edexcel A-Level Music course that we offer here at Ralph Allen. So, why choose A-Level Music and why Edexcel? Well, the breadth and depth of study is really brilliant in this course, and it's one of the reasons why I chose it. There's a real variety of different musical styles and genres that students are going to be um, studying, ranging from Baroque classical music all the way through to modern popular music culture. And what we'll do is we'll place these different styles of music within the wider context around why they were composed. We're really lucky that we have a diverse musical heritage that we can study and students will learn to perform and compose and appreciate all sorts of different types of music. The idea is, is that we'll develop your critical and creative thinking, that you become more culturally, aesthetically and emotionally aware, and you'll develop your ability to make music both individually and as part of a group. There's a really lovely sense of progression from the GCSE syllabuses all the way through the A-level course and through into higher education if students wish to progress further to undergraduate study in a music related course. Here's some current students, I wonder what they think. Hi my name is Lydia, I chose music A-level because I really love the subject and I really like the variety of learning theory and also going more into depth into the um, set pieces. Hi, I'm Sky. I'm really enjoying music at the moment because we study like a really wide range of music and it expands my knowledge and it makes me have to think about like different styles and yeah, I'm just really enjoying the course. So the A-level music course comprises, comprises three units. The first being performance, worth 30% of the qualification. The second composition, again, another 30%. And both of these are a non-examined sort of coursework unit externally assessed. And then the final 40% of the qualification is appraising, which is a written exam in year 13. So just to explain the components a little bit more in detail. So for the performance, uh, students perform one or more pieces on an instrument or voice of their choice. These can be as a soloist or as part of an ensemble, even a combination of both if they find that they want to show off those two different sorts of skills. And what they do is they put together a programme that lasts eight minutes um, and they're then given a mark out of 60. Twelve of those marks out of 60 are available for the difficulty of the pieces. So if you were going to get the full 12 marks for those difficulty levels, you should be performing music of approximately grade seven or eight standard by the time you're in year 13. Composing, obviously, is the second part. Um, and there's two aspects to this. The first is a free choice composition, um, and it relates to the six areas of study that underpin both the, all the components of the course. And those six areas of study are listed there. You can see them. The first is vocal music, instrumental music, music for film, popular music and jazz, fusion and new directions. So areas of study we look at in detail through the study of set pieces, as I'll talk about in a moment, but also by looking at the compositional techniques of those compositions and perhaps trying to recreate them ourselves. And then in year 13, uh, students are given the option to either choose a brief that comes from the exam board or to create their own brief. Um, and then what that allows them to do is really explore their own compositional style. You can compose in any style for any combination of instruments that you like, including electronic. And what we encourage the students to do is to notate fully their compositions and also record them. And we use both programmes like Sibelius and also Logic in order for them to be able to do that. So those first uh, free choice compositions are worth 40 marks. Um, and then there's a further 20 marks for this component and available for what we call techniques. Um, and so what we will do is we will study how composers apply a specific compositional technique. We really focus in year 12 on the study of Bach Chorale. And the reason why we do this is that this underpins the whole of Western tonal harmony. So when we're analysing any of the harmonic devices in any of the pieces that we study, um, underpinning the rules around that is what Bach was doing when he was writing his chorales. Um, we'll also, for some of the music technology students, get them to utilise their music technology um, uh, skills in order to create remixes and there's also a couple of options about two-part counterpoint and arrangement which we sometimes choose for certain students so it's very much around kind of what they're doing and the techniques that they're showing and the promise that they have as to which ones you might then do and take on forward into year 13. Component three is the appraising exam it's worth 40 percent and underpinning this are our six areas of study 
And within each six of the areas of study, we've got three set, uh, set works that are in an anthology, which we will study. And this is the bit that I absolutely love because what it does is it absolutely opens up the eyes of students to a whole world of music, perhaps that they never thought they would ever be listening to. And it's really exciting when I see students being inspired by a piece of classical music, perhaps when they're a rock drummer or, you know, they're a jazz drummer and they're finding beauty in Vaughan Williams. Um, so it's, it's really inspiring and it's a really brilliant way to really explore that breadth and depth. Um, so we look at Bach, we look at Mozart and Vaughan Williams in our vocal music. We've got Vivaldi, Clara Schumann, who was at the forefront of developing romantic chamber music and was herself a professional pianist. And the Berlioz Symphony Fantastique, an absolutely brilliant programmatic um, tour de force. Uh, the music for film is really interesting, looking at Bernard Herrmann's kind of seminal score, Psycho, uh, that kind of changed the way that music for film is thought about um, and certainly then was influential for the development of film music for John Williams, but also Danny Elfman here as we're looking at for Batman Returns. And it's really looking at the main thematic ideas and how it's using light motifs to represent different characters. It's really interesting. In the popular music and jazz, I don't think you could study popular music without uh, talking about the Beatles. So there we've got their album Revolver. Um, we've got Kate Bush um, and also Courtney Pine to study within that. Uh, our fusions is a really interesting topic in that we look at how different composers are inspired by music of other cultures. Uh, so Debussy, for example, being inspired by uh, non-Western Asian cultures um, and also Spanish music. And then the Familia Valera Miranda is uh, Cuban son. Um, and then Anushka Shankar, obviously, with her Indian influences. And then New Directions, which is a look at what happened to music in the start of the 20th century in the classical genre and how composers have really started to look at what is music and to try to define what makes music. Is it melody? Is it rhythm? Is it harmony or is it sound? Um, so really exploring pieces in uh, really unusual contexts. Prepared piano, you put nuts and bolts within the strings of a piano, uh, using electronics in a live performance to alter the sound of an instrument and actually looking at Stravinsky's The Writer's Spring caused a riot at its first performance and we discover why. So really brilliant, wide variety of music that we can study, really exciting. And in the exam, what we will have studied towards is being able to analyse and critically appraise all of these different set pieces, the form and the structure of the music, how and which musical elements are used within the piece, uh, the stylistic features of the music, understanding the conventions that were used at the different times and places that these pieces were being written, putting it in the context of musical history. How, how did it um, inspire other people? How were they inspired by other people before them? And being able to then express and justify your own opinions. So exams divided into two sections. The first is four questions, sort of short answer questions. Um, and then the second section is more kind of extended essay writing. Um, so we're sort of developing our analytical skills much more for this. Here's some examples of the short answer questions. So you can hear, see here that we've got performance directions, being able, understanding what those different performance directions might be on the score, talking about the instruments that we can hear, explaining a composition's uh, texture or rhythm or the meter, for example, in different sections. And students are listening to their own individual CD and referring to a short score in, in a resource booklet. Question five here is the example. Um, it's an unfamiliar piece. So it's applying what they know about their, their set pieces and then kind of going, OK, so this is the context that this composer was creating their music in. I can describe that. I can relate to that. And I can also then talk about a set work that might link with that. And then finally, a choice of essay questions. Um, again, looking in detail at some specific musical elements within each of those pieces, such as the melody, the harmony, the instrumentation, rhythm, etc. Here's some more students to tell you a little bit about why they're liking the A-level. Hi, I'm Ruby and I'm taking A-level music. I'm really enjoying it because I love how we're learning about music more in depth and how it's written and why it's written like that. Hi, I'm Tom. Uh, I'm doing A-level music and what I enjoy about it most is probably... Um, well, there's a really good like amount of diversity within the pieces, and um, we all have like really good talks about the, the songs, like really in depth and stuff, which is quite nice. Um, and yeah, it's just really, really cool. 
So they're all agreeing it's a great course, which is good. Um, and what we would require from you guys is at least a grade six in GCSE music for entrance onto this course. It's really beneficial so for you to have a practical ability and theoretical knowledge of approximately grade five standard. It doesn't have to have mean that you've taken the exam formally, but having that knowledge is quite important as it kind of underpins all of the analysis and practical work that we're going to be doing. Um, we have considered students for the A-level course in the past if perhaps they haven't had the opportunity to take GCSE. Um, and again, if you can demonstrate that practical and theoretical knowledge as outlined in the above bullet points, then we would assess that on a case by case basis on application. So we have a really strong history of exam success in the music department, uh, getting top grades year in, year out and sending students off to study music in higher education and at music colleges including Oxford, uh, Royal Welsh College of Music, um, and also the Royal Northern College of Music. And it, as a course, sits really in the humanities if it's not something that you decide that you're going to continue into higher education. And it's a really well-respected course because it is requiring the analytical skills, the research skills, the communication skills, uh, also obviously your performance, and being able to communicate effectively and the creativity that you will have as a composer. Um, and I think as a music student, you'll always be valued as someone who's really creative and confident and can inspire others and will definitely be able to contribute to the wider community. So if you do have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me at the school and my email address is on screen there. Thank you.